Shemuel Rishon 1 Samuel 21. Then came David to Nov, to Achimelech, the priest. And Achimelech was afraid at the meeting of David, and said unto him, Why are you alone, and no man with you? And David said unto Achimelech, the priest, The king has commanded me a business, and has said unto me, Let no man know anything eth of the business whereabout I send you. And what have I commanded you? And I have appointed eth my servants to such and such a place. Now, therefore, what is under your hand? Give me five loaves of bread in my hand, or what there is present. And the priest answered eth David and said, There is no common bread under my hand, but there is hallowed bread. If the young men have guarded themselves at least from women. And David answered eth the priest and said unto him, Of a truth, women have been kept from us about these three days since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy, and the bread is in a manner common, yea, though it were sanctified this day in the vessel. So the priest gave him hallowed bread, for there was no bread there but the show bread that was taken from before Yahuwah to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Shaul was there that day, detained before Yahuwah, and his name was Doeg, and Adomi, the chiefest of the herdsmen that belonged to Shaul. And David said unto Achimelech, And is there not here under your hand spear or sword? For I have neither brought my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath, the Pelishiti, whom you slew in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you will take that, take it, for there is no other save that here. Rather, for there is no other save that here. And David said, There is none like that. Give it me. And David arose and fled that day for fear of Shaul, and went to Achish, the king of Gath. And the servants of Achish said unto him, Is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing one to another of him in dances, saying, Shaul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands? And David laid up at these words in his heart, and was sore afraid of Achish, the king of Gath. And he changed at his behavior before them, and feigned himself mad in their hands, and scrabbled on the doors of the gate, and let his spittle fall down upon his beard. Then said Achish unto his servants, Lo, you see the man is mad. Wherefore then have ye brought him to me? Have I need of a madman? Rather, have I need of madmen that ye have brought eth this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? 